Right now, 40 miles northwest of Denver, construction crews are putting the finishing touches on Colorado's most expensive water project in decades. $690 million. A massive earthen dam rising 170 feet from the South Platte River Valley and enough water storage to supply 300,000 people for an entire year. But here's what they don't want you to know about Chatfield Reservoir's expansion. They're building it directly on top of one of the most contaminated sites in Colorado history. Uranium, plutonium. Radioactive waste that's been leaching into groundwater for over 70 years. And a cover-up that goes all the way back to the Manhattan Project. I'm about to expose why Colorado is spending nearly $700 million to create a reservoir on land so toxic that workers need radiation monitors, why federal agencies have been lying about contamination levels for decades, and why this project represents either the most brilliant environmental cleanup in history or the most dangerous gamble with public health ever attempted. Because what they're calling a water storage project might actually be a $690 million experiment in whether you can safely drink water stored above a nuclear waste dump. Let me blow your mind with what they're actually building at Chatfield. This isn't just a bigger dam. Engineers are raising the existing dam by 12 feet, while it's still holding back 26,000 acre feet of water. It's like performing surgery on a patient's heart while it's still beating. The original Chatfield Dam was built in 1975 as a 147-foot-tall concrete and earth fill structure. Now they're adding a massive buttress system, new spillway capacity, and seepage control measures that have never been attempted on this scale. But here's the engineering challenge that's driving costs through the roof. They have to maintain reservoir operations throughout construction. That means building cofferdams, diverting water flow, and coordinating construction activities while keeping Denver's water supply flowing. The structural modifications alone require 2.8 million cubic yards of earth fill, enough material to bury Coors Field 30 feet deep. And every cubic yard has to be placed with millimeter precision to avoid catastrophic dam failure. Here's the part of the story that will make your blood run cold. The land around Chatfield Reservoir was home to the Rocky Flats plant from 1952 to 1992. Rocky Flats manufactured plutonium triggers for nuclear weapons. For 40 years, they processed some of the most dangerous radioactive materials on Earth, just upstream from where millions of people get their drinking water. And the contamination? It's everywhere. Soil samples show plutonium-239, americium-241, and uranium-238 scattered across thousands of acres. Groundwater monitoring wells detect radioactive contamination plumes that extend for miles. And atmospheric testing reveals that radioactive particles were dispersed by wind across the entire front range. But here's what's really terrifying. The full extent of contamination was classified for decades. Even today, many contamination studies remain partially redacted for national security reasons. In 1989, the FBI raided Rocky Flats in a criminal investigation of environmental violations. What they found was so bad that the entire facility was shut down permanently. The cleanup took 20 years and cost $7 billion, making it the most expensive environmental remediation in US history. They removed buildings, scraped contaminated soil, and installed monitoring systems throughout the area. But here's what they didn't do, remove all the contamination. Plutonium has a half-life of 24,000 years. You can't just wash it away or wait for it to decompose. The cleanup mostly involved covering contaminated areas with clean soil and hoping the radioactive materials would stay put. Now Colorado is building a massive reservoir that will fundamentally alter groundwater flow patterns in an area where radioactive contamination is still present in soil and groundwater. Here's the question that keeps environmental scientists awake at night. What happens when you store drinking water above radioactive contamination? The expanded Chatfield Reservoir will hold 109,000 acre-feet of water. That's 35.5 billion gallons. All of it sitting above soil and groundwater that contains measurable levels of radioactive contamination. Colorado officials insist that contamination levels are below regulatory limits and pose no significant health risk. But those regulatory limits were established decades ago, and many scientists now believe they're inadequate to protect public health. Independent studies have found plutonium concentrations in area soil that exceed EPA guidelines. Groundwater monitoring shows contamination plumes that extend toward the reservoir area. 
and atmospheric monitoring detects radioactive particles that could be resuspended during construction activities. Yet Colorado is moving forward with a project that will store drinking water for hundreds of thousands of people directly above this contamination. The official environmental impact studies for Chatfield Reservoir expansion barely mention radioactive contamination. They focus on wildlife habitat, recreational impacts and standard construction concerns. But internal documents obtained through Freedom of Information Act requests tell a different story. Engineering reports acknowledge residual contamination in the area. Soil testing protocols require radiation monitoring during excavation. Construction contracts include special provisions for handling potentially contaminated materials. The engineering team knows they're building on contaminated land. They're just not talking about it publicly. And the monitoring systems they're installing? They're designed to detect radioactive contamination in reservoir water, but the results won't be made public unless contamination exceeds action levels that are much higher than what many scientists consider safe. When Chatfield Reservoir expansion was first proposed, the estimated cost was $490 million. Today, it's $690 million and climbing. Where did that extra $200 million go? Official explanations cite inflation, supply chain issues, and design modifications. But construction industry insiders point to massive cost overruns related to contamination management, special excavation procedures for potentially contaminated soil, enhanced worker safety protocols including radiation monitoring, specialized disposal methods for construction waste that might contain radioactive materials. These contamination-related costs aren't itemized in public budget documents, but they're driving the project's price tag far beyond original estimates. And here's the scary part. If they discover more extensive contamination during construction, costs could spiral even higher. In 2018, Colorado commissioned a comprehensive health study to assess cancer rates and other health impacts in communities near Rocky Flats. The study was supposed to provide definitive answers about whether radioactive contamination poses ongoing health risks. The study was never completed. Official explanations cite methodological challenges and data limitations. But public health advocates suspect the real reason. The study was finding evidence of elevated cancer rates and other health problems that would have made the Chatfield project politically impossible. Without that health study, Colorado is proceeding with a $690 million project based on incomplete information about the health risks to the people who will drink the water. Here's what engineers discovered during pre-construction studies that terrified them. Groundwater flow patterns around Chatfield are much more complex than anyone realized. The area sits above fractured bedrock that allows contaminated groundwater to move in unpredictable directions. Seasonal variations in reservoir levels could alter these flow patterns, potentially mobilizing contamination that's currently stable. But the really scary part, some groundwater monitoring wells show contamination levels that fluctuate dramatically over time, suggesting that contamination plumes are moving in ways that aren't fully understood. The expanded reservoir will fundamentally alter local hydrology, but nobody knows exactly how that will affect the movement of radioactive contamination through groundwater systems. The Department of Energy, EPA and Army Corps of Engineers all have oversight responsibilities for the Chatfield project, but their public statements about contamination risks are contradictory and incomplete. The Department of Energy maintains that Rocky Flats cleanup was successful and poses no ongoing risks, but their own monitoring data shows continued detection of radioactive materials in soil and groundwater. The EPA approved the reservoir expansion based on environmental impact studies that minimized contamination concerns. But EPA's own Superfund database lists multiple contaminated sites in the area that haven't been fully remediated. The Army Corps of Engineers is managing construction but refuses to release detailed information about contamination management protocols or worker safety measures. Each agency is pointing to the others while avoiding responsibility for protecting public health. Construction workers at Chatfield are required to wear radiation detection badges and follow special protocols when excavating in certain areas. But they're also required to sign non-disclosure agreements that prevent them from talking publicly about what they've found. 
Off-the-record conversations with construction workers reveal disturbing details. Soil that sets off radiation detectors, special disposal procedures for hot materials, areas where work has been suspended due to contamination concerns. These workers are on the front lines of a project that could affect the health of hundreds of thousands of people, but they're legally prohibited from sharing what they know with the public. Several water districts that originally supported Chatfield expansion are now expressing concerns about water quality and liability issues. Some districts are quietly developing alternative water sources rather than relying on Chatfield water. Others are installing additional treatment systems specifically designed to remove radioactive contaminants. But here's what's really telling. Insurance companies are starting to exclude coverage for health claims related to radioactive contamination in water supplies. That suggests the insurance industry believes the risks are real and significant. Water district officials won't discuss these concerns publicly, but their actions suggest they're not as confident about water safety as their public statements indicate. Multiple lawsuits have been filed challenging the Chatfield expansion on environmental and health grounds, but the most dangerous legal issue might be liability for future health problems. If people develop cancer or other health problems that can be linked to radioactive contamination in Chatfield water, who's responsible? The federal agencies that approved the project, the state agencies that manage the reservoir, the water districts that distribute the water. Legal experts predict that Chatfield could become the center of mass tort litigation that makes asbestos and tobacco lawsuits look small by comparison. And here's the really scary part. Radioactive contamination health effects can take decades to appear. People drinking Chatfield water today might not develop health problems until 2040 or 2050. As I'm recording this video, Colorado officials are actively suppressing information about contamination risks at Chatfield. Public records requests are being denied or heavily redacted. Scientific studies are being classified or withheld. Public meetings about the project avoid discussing contamination issues. Independent scientists who raise concerns about radioactive contamination are being excluded from advisory committees. Environmental groups that oppose the project are being sued to prevent them from sharing information. It's a systematic effort to prevent the public from understanding the true risks of drinking water stored above a nuclear waste site. Chatfield Reservoir expansion will be completed in 2025. Within a few years, hundreds of thousands of people will be drinking water stored above one of the most contaminated sites in Colorado. Maybe Colorado officials are right and contamination levels are low enough that the water will be safe to drink. Maybe the engineering systems will successfully prevent radioactive materials from reaching the reservoir. Or maybe we're about to conduct the largest uncontrolled experiment in public health in American history. The $690 million has been spent. The dam is nearly complete. And soon we'll find out whether Colorado made a brilliant decision or a catastrophic mistake. But here's what we know for certain. They're asking hundreds of thousands of people to drink water stored above radioactive contamination without providing complete information about the risks. And if something goes wrong, it will be too late to undo the damage. The reservoir is filling, the water is flowing, and Colorado is betting that you'll never find out what's really buried beneath your drinking water. We are committed to releasing two videos a week. Like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more visionary builds.